شعب صومالي لاند وشعب صومالي اللي بيتشاركوا نفس الدين نفس العرق نفس حتى اللغه يعني بيحكوا صومالي وعربي ومع هيك بسنه 2001 صار في استفتاء على الانفصال واكثر من 97% من شعب صومالي لاند صوتوا بنعم بدهم ينفصلوا فليش انتم بدكم تنفصلوا مع انه في كل هالتشابه بينكم وبين شعب الصومال the reason for that is many uh, there is two different cultures uh, there is 1400 kilometers between Hargeisa and Mogadishu uh, a different colonial history um, and the youths in two countries uh, have a completely different lived experience and just because uh, it appears like there's similarities Uh, there's different needs. There's different historical experiences. Um, it's not as simple as as, as that. But Mohammed, this is not going to be the existence or the existence or the I think I think the the real question there is um, about readiness um, to be able to. Right now, Somalia is has been. Um, the south of Somalia has been at war for 30 years and the north has been at peace since 1991 and the two countries are, are not anywhere near each other in terms of where they're, where they're at and what they're ready for mm -hmm. uh, and I think that that's the reason why um, uh, Somaliland really has to become a country and also today uh, Somalia has many problems uh, the biggest refugee camp is in Kenya um, you know there's problems with food security with a place to be Uh, if Somaliland became independent tomorrow, uh, it could help its brothers in the south. Uh, it could be a home for them uh, instead of having to live in Ethiopia and Kenya where there's sometimes problems because they're not from there. So it's, it's not just about saying, rejecting those people and saying we don't want to help at the moment because nobody's willing to invest in Somalia. There's so many problems just because Somaliland is forced to be with Somalia, it can't move forward. even though it's ready to move forward. How do you differ from the people who live in Somalia and the people who live in Somalia? The life is massively different. Now, for example, a boy who is 30 years old in Mogadishu and a boy who is 30 years old in, in, in Hargeisa. The boy who's 30 years old in Hargeisa has never had gunfire. The boy in Mogadishu has never been able to go to school. You know, it's not the same. It's, The, the boy in Hargeisa, he is thinking about making music or painting, writing books or um, a career that he wants to have. He's been to university, maybe in his country, maybe abroad. In, in Somali, he's been a refugee his whole life. It's now, there was a difference before. Now the difference is like very big, you know?